Hey, Lynn, guess what my pandemic project was? What? This. And I'm super excited that my book on special education law and policy from foundation to application came out recently with plural publishing. Oh my God, Jackie, that is amazing. Congratulations. Oh my gosh, it looks super thick, right? Oh, look at that. It must have lots and lots of good information on it in it. And you know what? Weirdly enough, I too completed a book on special education law and policy as my pandemic project. That looks really well written. Wendy, very impressive. Why, thank you, darling. (laughs) Okay, serious times now, folks. We are certainly super stoked to introduce our brand new book to you. And while Jackie and I co-edited this book and even co-authored some of the chapters, we were joined by the best and the brightest in the fields multiple fields, who were able each to bring their own areas of expertise to each chapter. So true. Our authors include university professors in both law and education, as well as working attorneys, advocates, and educators. The author list is like a who's who when it comes to knowing all about special education law and advocacy. Definitely. And Jackie, what would be your favorite part about our book? Would What would you want to highlight for folks who are just learning about it? So I am an enormous proponent of making change through advocacy, as you all know, and the field of special education has really improved over the years, thanks to the advocacy efforts from teachers, from administrators, legal advocates, and especially our communities and families. So I love that each chapter includes concrete suggestions related to policy and advocacy for each of the various areas. I object. (laughs) Anyone from Legally Blonde? You got it, Reese Witherspoon? Okay, good. All right, no, seriously, I completely agree with you. I love our advocacy parts. My favorite part, I think, is how accessible our book is. Um, Every chapter, the whole idea of law and legal information can be so daunting. So I really love how our authors used reader-friendly terminology. They explain really difficult concepts. They give lots of examples and even vignettes that explain how things work in real-life situations. They even make connections to court cases for those people who want to go deep and look look up things for themselves. Yeah, certainly we don't have enough time here to tell you all about IDEA and 504 and LRE and IEPs, UDL, RTI, MTSS, or any of those other crazy acronyms in our field of education, much less the law that surrounds them. But we do have enough time to suggest that you contact Plural Publishing and you get your hands on our book. Definitely. Whether you are a teacher or a family member who just wants to know more, or you're a professor of education or of law, or pretty much anybody else, we hope you enjoy our book. We know we are immensely proud of it.